Welcome back. Today, we are going to take Ruckthorn Jag here and give him a proper socket for his head. Uh, this head was from Outer Rim Traders. Fantastic, fantastic head sculpt. Um, but, as with most custom heads, he's not particularly well fitted to the ball joint. Um, and that is partly because the head is basically a giant hollow. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that it properly fits the ball joint of the Marvel Legends figure that I have used as his body. So what you're going to need for this, obviously you will need the head and the body. You will need some petroleum jelly whether it's like cocoa butter, but okay, whatever. You need some kind of petroleum jelly. Whether it's some kind of fancy-ass cocoa butter shit or not, I don't care. Get the no-name stuff, it's cheaper. And you will need a hot glue gun with some glue in it. So right now I've got the head attached with just some blue tack, which honestly, that's a perfectly acceptable solution for this if your customs are just going to stand on a shelf. Um... If you've been on my Instagram account, you know that that's not something that happens a lot with my customs. Um, they tend to travel around um, and be involved in some serious photo shoots. Um, so so we can have Rockthorn here get drunk properly. Um, I need to create a proper ball joint socket that will not have his head randomly fall off while he's standing in a river, or climbing a rock, or getting drunk somewhere. So we're just going to pop all that out. And again, this is a sculpt, this is a head sculpt from uh, Outer Rim Traders. Um, I believe it's just OuterRimTraders.com. Um, really, really nice quality. I got this guy, I got some clone trooper helmets, um, and I got uh, Hondo Onaka sculpt. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting the Hondo underway. Um, these just come as a resin cast. So like inside, you can see that's the color that it will be when it arrives. Um, so I painted this up myself. But um, again, fantastic sculpts. Very, very happy with those. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, body here. This is the... Um, we're going to get rid of his bottle. <clears throat> this is the Marvel Legends... Oh, God, I can't remember his friggin' name. Um, it was Hawkeye when Hawkeye went all dark and murdery um, that I repainted to be Rockthorn Jag's body. Um, again, nothing screen accurate or anything. This is my own character. So what we need to do first is we need to use the petroleum jelly and basically rub a little bit over the ball, the entirety of the ball, the top part, of the neck and just to be safe I'm gonna put some on the edge of the collar as well so the theory here is um, with the petroleum jelly on these parts the hot glue when we apply it will not adhere to these parts it will adhere to anything that doesn't have the petroleum jelly on it so what we're gonna be doing petroleum jelly on here in here, we're basically going to fill it with hot glue. Then we pop it on. While the hot glue is setting, we twist it a little bit. And then theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, everything in custom action figures is theoretical until it works. Theoretically, we will then have an actual ball joint inside there. The hot glue will adhere to the inside of the head, will not adhere to the peg. For the ball so we should have a fully functional ball joint i mean front and back motion is still going to be a little bit weak just because of the collar and the size of the head but so this is actually a technique that i've used multiple times way back when i was doing one six scale customs but i have to admit this is my first attempt at doing it for um, a six inch scale a one twelfth scale in theory, oh my god, I hate how this shit feels. In theory, 
it should work the same. But, as we've said, everything is theoretical until it works, and nothing is a given. <laughs> There's my Bob Ross moment for this video. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more, because I really don't want the hot glue adhering to that collar, or to the neck. I'm actually going to use this to smear it around the neck a little bit. Some happy little petroleum jelly. Oh, this shit is so gross. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got our petroleum jelly applied. We cross our fingers that it's enough. We've got our hot glue that we've had sitting in there. plugged in and we just squeeze that shit out and that should be enough we've got a good amount in there probably too much but we're gonna pop it on yeah that's actually way too much but here we go pop it on big thing is to make sure that you've got it positioned the way you want it as the starting position for the head which I do push it back a little bit twist a little bit I'm just doing that to be safe. I'm not, I don't believe it's necessary to keep twisting it, but, and we just leave him to let that glue set, and then we will come back and see how successful we were. <laughs> so now is finger crossing time. All right, so I've let that hot glue cure for about 15 minutes. So let's uh, try and pop the head off and see if we were successful. If there's a jump cut here, it's because I've whacked the camera and needed to reset everything. Yeah, it's starting to come off there. There we go. So, you can see, didn't have any glue adhesion there. And we do have a little bit of cleanup to do, but you can see we've got a socket. Um, need to trim this off. A bit of the overflow here. So, Got the hobby knife. <laughs> Should I use a very sharp object while trying to look through a camera? No, of course not, so let's do it anyways. Okay. There we go, no blood at all. That was kind of unexpected. Um, yeah, I was expecting to stab myself with that. So, we may need to heat up. Yeah, I still need to trim a little bit more off that. You can see, if I put it on, you'd still be able to see the glue from the side there. So, we will come in here again. With, oh, there we go. We'll do it on camera, because that's the whole goddamn point, isn't it? There we go. Trim off that little bit. Maybe trim off this bit at the edge here, too. So again, this is a relatively simple uh, technique to add a ball socket to... Uh, a uh, cast head or even to get um, a, the ball socket that properly fits the figure so you'll have sometimes you'll want to put um, 
figure head from a different figure line onto a Black Series body or a Marvel Legends body. <clears throat> and a lot of them have different size sockets. Most of the time, uh, using a little bit of blue tack um, like this, not even this much, sometimes all you need is a little tiny bit, um, a lot of times that will actually do the trick. That will solve your problem, it will make the head fit, um, but sometimes when you've got really different size, then you're going to need to improvise a bit, and this has apparently done the trick. So what we will probably need to do, because you can see, let me do my pointer here, you can see the opening is obviously narrow because it has um, closed around the peg part of the ball. What we will probably need to do is just hit this with a hair dryer for 15-20 seconds just to slightly soften it up to be able to pop it back on. I might be able to pop it on just as is, but it feels like I'm forcing it too much and I don't want to damage anything. So I will go grab the hair dryer and uh, we will reconvene. We're going to have a bit of noise. Sorry if this is really loud. I don't actually know how to change volume levels when I'm editing, so <laughs> you might be shit out of luck. Um, so we're just going to heat this up for 15 seconds. And hopefully that is enough. Did soften it a little bit, so we shall see. Don't know whether that's softened enough. No. Now, what we may end up doing, you can see there's this little bit here, if it focus, this little bit here that has kind of folded in over the hole. It may be that we need to cut that a little bit, but I'm going to try a little bit more heat first and see if that does the trick. So again, turn your volume down if you need to. Definitely a lot softer now, so where you guys can see it, theoretically. Okay. There we go. So there we go. See if we can push it down a little bit more. Okay. There we are. We now have a functioning neck joint. Again, it's side to side motion's fine. Front back is always going to be a little bit limited just because of this collar. But there we have it. We have created a functional ball socket in a resin cast head. Again, I'm not looking to be a YouTube celebrity, so I don't really care whether you like, subscribe, just. I hope you found it useful, and if you have any questions, um, I've said before, I'm far more active on Instagram than I am anywhere else, so by all means, uh, shoot me a message, ask me any questions you have, alright? And there we go. See ya.